So we are here today with Marcos Mejia. Yes. Good afternoon. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm Marcos Mejia and uh, good afternoon. Good yeah. day. <laughs> so how long have you been doing uh, singing, modeling, and posting? Well, I've been uh, I've been doing singing for like uh, ten years. Uh, in and out. Uh, but um, I've been doing it since I graduated last night for the year. I've been able to continue singing for like, continuously singing for two years. So uh, that's what I've been doing for almost three years now. Yeah. And um, for modeling, um, well, I started, it, it's only like about five years or something. Back when I was, back when I was, uh, no, seven years, back when I was 18, um, I started doing some um, promotions at first, and then uh, I joined, um, later on I joined the pageants. Can I mention the pageants? Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, a year ago I joined, uh, oh, two years ago I joined some pageants, like Fashion Mama Plus. And uh, those pageants that we have back in the province, you can meet them. So um, my biggest pageant that I joined in was last year was uh, Mr. Philippines. So it, it is a national pageant, and uh, I represented my province. And uh, uh, I, I were able to get the best in talent and uh, also the. Uh, Mr. Reddy's all about the uh, It's actually 50-50, not all the time. But we really should have it. We should be really high for us. Or any purpose. Well, I got the, the Purpose Award. And uh, that's very good. And I was able to land the top 10. And um, yeah, even though I wasn't, I didn't get the chance to be in the top 5. The winner because uh, there's like uh, four titles uh, like air, water, angels, yeah. those titles. Um, I was uh, those top ten, uh, the top ten teams were assigned as an ambassador of a certain partners, and uh, mine was hunger and poverty. So uh, I'm officially uh, Mr. Earth. For oh, so that's like uh, based on the MGDO? Yes, yes. Okay, and uh, we, we've been following that goal for, since it came out. And uh, yeah, I'm glad that um, um, I represent, I'm, I've been able to be the ambassador of Hungary and uh, public because it's very popular here in World Beats, I would say. Still a problem. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, uh, well, I have, um, and it's also a privilege to do that because um, in my province there's a lot of projects about that. And uh, I'm being able to, to join, not only as a model and as a singer, but also a community leader. And uh, I think that's, that's, that's what makes, that is what's making me happy as a promoter. So um, you do all these things, but you also have uh, that thing to be kind of very positive. Yes. It's not all the glitz and the glamour that they say. Well, um, I think it's the glitz and the glamour, I think it's just it's going to fade away at some point. Mm -hmm. So in the middle of that, I need to just kind of have to do something in the middle. You know, like something that sets you apart. Uh, I'm not doing this just to be set apart from others, but it's, you know, it's pers just for personal things. Okay. So how about uh, hosting? What kind of events do you host? Um, it's actually very uh, unconventional, you know. I started just doing hosting in family gatherings because uh, I have a huge, well, I have an only child, but, you know, my second and third level, Relatives are quite big, and um, 
I've started posting just for our family events. That was back when I was in high school still. And I was very, very shy then. And uh, it was my training ground. Um, years after, maybe five years after that, um, I, I, was able, I were able to uh, uh, host a wedding and also the group of uh, different friends and friends and friends. And uh, uh, I also, uh, the, the one game that has been or made me like, very confident in terms of posting is uh, when I did the Coca Cola, you know, like when we go to the Coca Cola and uh, different people. It's, it's not like a wash posting game, it's, it's very massive. So I was used to this hosting games where you're in front of your family or formal hosting like the game. And then you go to this massa place where you can't speak English. <laughs> you have to speak in Tagalog. And you have to speak Tagalog. You have to relate to people as well. So it's a two different thing. But um, yeah, that's what moved me to stepping up into a show. Okay, so uh, let's go back to singing. Since okay. you said you've been doing it for uh, 10 years. Yes, yes. So, uh, Actually, more than 10 years. Because uh, uh, I remember I was 5 years old and a video was singing. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I can't find a video at all, so. <laughs> Yeah. So, what's your personal genre? My personal genre is jazz. That's what I love listening to. That's what I always listen to. But, you know, you, you would, when, when I try to sing jazz, it's kind of like not coming out the way I want to get you come out. Not that you you know, like, yes. But um, it's really jazz that I play. Maybe I have to take proper education for jazz because there's like a technique or something with jazz in here. But um, that, that's, that's my dream. But um, I'm right now when I'm singing in, in my gigs and uh, in, in different events, I'm usually singing pop and R&B and ballet. Those three, those three are sort of like very common here in the Philippines. Yes. Yeah. So uh, um, I'm, my performances right now are concentrated in that tree. But if I were to choose jazz, <laughs> it's very relaxing. It's very, very uh, satisfying. I think. So do you incorporate like steps or dance steps in your uh, in your singing or? When you do events? Yeah, yes, um, especially for singing uh, pop songs. Like, uh, Sean does kind of like pop songs and those kind of songs. Uh, you have to make, you have to create some movements with the beat. And uh, uh, sometimes I try to memorize the steps. Sometimes I just go with the flow. Uh, sometimes I just, you know, go around the stage. And, and, <laughs> Just feel the music or whatever. Uh, when I'm singing ballad, like uh, Sam Smith kind of song, um, I just go on straight, on point, singing vocals. Uh, uh, when I'm singing R&B, uh, usually my hands are everywhere. Because, <laughs> uh, I don't know, it's a style from... Yeah, so it differs in different kinds. And so, do you have any upcoming gigs or shows right now? Um, yeah, I actually have. Um, I, I just landed a job in Bangor just recently. So, uh, you'll be seeing me in Bangor uh, most of the time. I mean, uh, it's in the Filipino branches. There are a lot of here in the Philippines. Uh, they have one in Cebu, they have one in Davao, uh, all around the country. So, uh, if you are, uh, you know, if you're not into gambling, you just want to 
and then you just went to, to CBC. <laughs> Actually, I'm part of the Casino for the People events, which was uh, initiated by the Vice President of the Bankwood, which is Jimmy Bondo. So it's his project. What's the name? Because as of now, we call it ourselves Casino for the People event. As of now. But I don't know if they're going to change it or something, but yeah, I think we're doing the same thing. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> and um, so it's a group of six, six guys with, um, uh, I mean, I, I, I met them already, but I didn't hear them sing yet. Uh, we will be undergoing workshops and trainings, and dance workshops, voice training, and uh, all those stuff. So uh, by November, before the Christmas hits, we will be deployed in different casino Philippine locations. We don't know where. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm inviting everyone to, if you have time, if you want to go to the casino, just to play other people playing. <laughs> I'm not encouraging you to play um, casino, of course. But um, if you just want to watch, you can see us there. They can follow me on Facebook to see me. Um, RF meetings in that And um, also, um, there, there are some, some like uh, later, I have a, later on, I have a game with me, Nico Light. I was, I'm also a part of It's like an online application where uh, I'm one of the broadcasters, uh, DJ slash DJ slash. About your online. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, you will not see me only. Uh, if, if you are not into gaming and you can't go out, then uh, uh, you just, you're just at home. You can also watch me online, by the way. Uh, I'm also part of People Life. It's an online application where uh, you can uh, watch me and other artists perform and chat and do whatever online. So um, uh, every, you're familiar with uh, Facebook Live, right? Yes. So uh, uh, there's this application that we have, it's called Google Live. And um, uh, you can download it at the time of your And uh, you can also see me there. And, uh, actually, on a specific time, uh, randomly. Well, uh, you can uh, go and follow me on that version. Never had a life. And um, apparently, uh, this Beagle Live has a huge market. And uh, so uh, it, it also broadened up my market in a whole different stage because it's international. It's uh, online. It's online. Everyone can see it. Everyone can see it. Uh, all you just have to do is download the application. Wherever you are, if you're following me, that application. But of course, it, it would be great if you, you know, you can, you can kind of see, you in see me in person. Uh, because uh, because we know, uh, yeah. So, uh, um, it wouldn't be an online concert, and it would be really, really great. It would be much better. Live, perform live. Uh, well, I'm not the only one performing. I'm part of the casino uh, for the And we're So we sing along And it was um, it was a project of uh, Miss uh, Mr. Jimmy Bond, the vice president. And uh, it, is, it will be a five-year contract. Uh, and, uh, so you probably have plenty of time for that five years, <laughs> right? And uh, if, uh, if yeah, just just it, go ahead and follow me on Facebook. And uh, I think that uh, uh, by November, because we're undergoing uh, trainings, that's where. Uh, 
Philippines. And uh, yeah, they can go ahead and follow me on Facebook and uh, to see my schedule, my upcoming schedules. So, uh, I guess, how's your experience working here in the Well, um, it was, uh, it went very, very, very good. Uh, uh, I think it was uh, a month ago when we had the meeting about this, this uh, photo shoot. And uh, uh, weekly, I'm getting updates on uh, what, what to do and what, what, what happened. Needs to be provided about costumes, outfits, 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 <laughs> outfits, and also the style, the motif, and also uh, uh, the song. Uh, so it's 1940s, so um, that's uh, that's why I think uh, if I were to do it, uh, like I said, we're uh, really up to uh, the jazz sound. But uh, I don't think I did justice to that if I song. <laughs> I hope I did at some, at some point. Uh, I, I love that song. It's very meaningful. Many, it's meaningful. And it goes really, really well with uh, the theme, with the uh, outfit, and uh, with the whole concept. Um, so, all in all, it was, a, it was a very satisfying, smooth, uh, project that you have. It's uh, it's uh, it's nice to do it. Maybe you have a very keen eye for details, and I love that. That's why I think the uh, event, I mean, this this shoot was run very smoothly because of that. your attention to details, and uh, that's what I love. Thank you. Um, so about the concept, right? You know, it's modern day pastry, and we did the shots. So you, in your personal life, where, um, what scene do you think you are in right now? Um, I think uh, the one that I was packing my stuff. I think because uh, I'm always, I'm always in the run. I'm always in and out of the town. And um, I always see myself packing my stuff. So uh, uh, it, it goes on with the first scene that we had, the, the third scene. That was the third scene. The one that the going out. Yes. Um, the music you were playing really blew my mind. It was loud. I'm always in the house. I I'm always in the house. My mom would always tell me when I go. That's the most question. Yeah. And uh, actually, even this morning when, when I was packing this stuff, or last night when I was packing this stuff, my mom was like, you're packing too much, when will you be coming home? <laughs> uh, I'll be home, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course you wish that uh, you'd be able to come home like, with the last scene. <laughs> yes, um, well, it, there's no way back than to go home. That's when get into the dead end. All you just have to do is just go home. That's go always home your, fulfilled. Yeah, that's always your direction. Mm -hmm. oh, there's no other direction, I think. Okay. Thank you so much again. Thank you.